Patients with cancer can have very difficult veins, and that is because they may have received multiple chemotherapies which changes the consistency of the veins. Then they have multiple times infusions of antibiotics, rehydrations, and things like that that really tend to result in overused veins and very difficult IV access. And of course, we can always resume to the use of ultrasound. However, using traditional techniques with proper techniques and strategies can get your IV access oftentimes more time efficiently. In this video, we're going to feature a number of techniques and strategies from our all new Difficult IV Access Manual. Be sure to get yours at Amazon.com. Let's see the video. Tight. And wrap. Tighten. And wrap. Tighten. And wrap. Okay, and now we want to wait to see what happens. So there's one vein over here. I think that is viable option. And none of these were visible actually before application of, of the reverse S mark. So that's definitely a viable vein. Here we can actually see the valve inside the vein, it's palpable. But it's definitely a possibility because I can feel that it's filled and it's not thrombosed because under my pressure or thumb pressure, it clearly collapses and empties. Although it's very easy to roll. So here it's very important to do acute, very good stabilization of the vein before attempting to cannulate it. And with this kind of vein, you definitely um, need to use a very fast access. So to get to the thickened wall, because this vein has been abused a, a number of times. Okay, so let's do some alcohol preparation. The alcohol will help the vein shine, which will help us with the um, visualization of the vein as well. Okay, here we go, little, little pinch. That was it. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to massage this a little bit so that we distribute the local anesthetic and avoid that tumescence. Mm -hmm. Because the tumescence can make IV cannulation more difficult. It may, the local anesthetic infiltration may make it more difficult to see where the vein is. But here we see, it. there it is. And it does not appear to be thrombosed, but it has very thick walls. I'm going to do a little bend of the catheter. Okay, so let's see if this is successful. So we'll tense the skin. That's good, we'll tense the skin. I'll stabilize it. And then we'll go really quick. Start up venous again. We're going to start on one side, not over the vein. So we have a little bit of the catheter and the needle inside before we slightly re-angulate to insert the catheter inside the vein. Here we go. Paravenous first. And now I'm going to accelerate. Oh, I'm going to accelerate the entry. And there you go, we're inside the vein. You saw there was a very sharp, quick maneuver. I'll place it another millimeter deeper and then start advancing the catheter if it wants to go inside. And there it is. That's successful, yes. Okay. So there was a paravenous insertion with a slight reangulation after administering local anesthetic and very brisk, quick maneuver in a patient with nearly impossible veins using the S-mark. Reverse S mark technique, that is. Let's reverse this, the venostasis, because that will make it much more comfortable for her. There we go. Okay. The veins are really hyper abused. It really makes sense to secure that IV access uh, carefully. Okay, so we're going to 
and do this one. Here we go. And the application is fairly simple. I'm going to place it on the volar side, like this, and do the Velcro piece. And create a little bit of a slack. And voila, once we do this, here we go. Ivy secured. And that was a difficult IV access in patients with overused veins. Again, using proper techniques, even when you're using ultrasound guidance, you will need to apply many of the strategies that we featured in the video in order to engorge the veins and make your IV access, whether using traditional methods or ultrasound, more successful. Be sure to get your hands on our all new difficult IV access manual. And if this video was useful to you, be sure to subscribe and never miss the future ones. Until next time.